This is Thomas Shelby from the popular Netflix show Peaky Blinders. This is also the actor that plays Thomas Shelby. Okay, the actor that plays Thomas Shelby is by no means ugly, but let's be honest, he's not winning any beauty pageants. And if you walk by him on the street, you're not breaking your neck to get a second look. But yet, he has no shortage of people thirsting over him. Thomas Shelby is so hot, I will never fathom it. Thomas Shelby is so hot, like the man with a plan. I trust him. I believe in him. Thomas Shelby is an absolute thirst trap. Thomas Shelby is the total package. Hot, dangerous, bad boy. What's not to like about that? If Netflix wanted to maximize their viewership, you would think they would cast somebody who's conventionally attractive, like Henry Cavill or Matthew Noska, right? Why did they pick Cillian Murphy? So I had to investigate. After countless late nights, several hours in the lab, I got it. So today, I'm gonna tell you the three things that can make you more attractive than most guys that doesn't rely on conventional attractiveness. But before that, I wanna see if you can spot the first one yourself. Let's take a look. You've always heard the elusive word posture, but what is it and why does it really matter at all? A study by Bertamini and colleagues found that proper posture can lead to a 16 to 20 percent increase in attraction level. So what is proper posture? Well, experts say it includes chin parallel to the floor, shoulders even, a neutral spine, and your arms at the sides with elbows straight and even. Additionally, by just standing up straight, you can accentuate your masculine features and look trimmer instantly. Also, posture is one of the first nonverbal impressions you can make. Even if you don't feel mentally confident, your body posture and how you carry yourself can speak volumes when it comes to women. It gets better. Another test instructed a group of men to stand with good postures and noted that even after holding the posture for only a few minutes, the men experienced a 20% increase in testosterone and a 25% decrease in cortisol, the hormone that contributes to stress. So how do you correct your posture? That's the big question, right? Well, one mental trick that I use, I call it the string theory. Get it? Like, plan words with like the physics theory about everything being made up of little strings. <laughs> <coughs> Basically, you just imagine that there's a string being pulled tight, attached from your pelvis to the crown of your skull. You find that this instantly pulls your head up and your chest out. But if mental tricks aren't for you and you're more of a physical learner, you can try a shoulder brace that retracts your shoulders and corrects the rounded shoulder look and brings your chest back under your head. Or something a bit more low key that anyone can do right now is have someone put a piece of tape on the back of your neck. This way, if you feel it crinkling, you know that your neck is bending back and you need to correct your posture. And you guys are in luck. Cause I'm gonna share you a little trick from, from my modeling days, back when they taught me how to walk on the catwalk. And this is to actually lead with your inside foot. If you're making a left turn, your inside toe and foot should step first, followed by the outside foot. As you can see, if you do it the other way, it just doesn't look right. This just shows security and confidence in your movements. Who would have thought that you might have been walking wrong this whole time? Like, what are we even doing right? Probably nothing at this point. You ask any woman what they find attractive in men, and without a doubt, they will all say intelligence. But the more and more I read, I found something interesting. It's not actually so much about the prestige, intelligence, or academic accolades, but more about this funny little word that you read in the subtext, conversation. What people really want in their partner is somebody who's competent in conversation and can speak freely and has at least basic knowledge on most current topics and news. But let's be honest, are you gonna date a woman just cause she has an MBA in chemical engineering? Probably not. Unless you know you're also very passionate about chemical engineering, which I kinda doubt it. It's about the ability to have engaging conversation about a wide range of current and common topics. And if you're thinking, uh, Brett, how am I supposed to learn about all current and common topics? Well... Well, what I do is I subscribe to a daily newsletter called Morning Brew. And when I had the idea to make this video, I decided to reach out for them to them because I thought this would be a perfect video for them to sponsor and luckily they agreed. So shout out to Morning Brew for sponsoring today's video. Morning Brew is a free daily newsletter that gets you up to speed on everything business, finance, and tech in under five minutes. A couple things I learned just yesterday is that Bad Bunny was the top streamed artist this year on Spotify. Also, some crypto startup is gonna sell a Banksy art piece into 10,000 pieces of digital content. What is going on with this world? Like, what the hell? 
and it's presented in a cool modern way with memes and stuff, not like the boring bland news you're used to. I've been loving Morning Brew and I think you will too. It's completely free and takes less than 15 seconds to subscribe. So if you want to check it out and improve your basic common knowledge to help you in conversation, then I'll put the link down below. Go click, go give it a click and check it out. I highly recommend it. And it's free, so like, why the hell not? But it's not just about what you're able to talk about, but also how you talk about it. And that comes down to tonality. Have you ever met somebody that talked like this? So the other day I was driving my car, this is called rapport-seeking tonality, also known as uptalk. It's the vocal pattern where the inflection of your voice curves upward at the end of the sentence and it makes it sound like you're asking a question, even if you're making a statement. And this is the easiest way to make a bold statement meaningless because it's as if you're questioning your own statement. So the easy fix to this is to start using rapport-neutral or rapport-breaking tonality. Report neutral tonality is more even all the way through. So it'd be something like, so today I was driving my car. So today I was driving my car. But then report breaking is where you actually have a downward curve at the end of what you're saying. And this is used a lot more commonly like by people in authority, like teachers, officers, uh, principals, people like that. So it would be something like, so today I was driving my car. Notice how it drops off. It sounds much more confident and authoritative. In a study published last year about contestants in Jeopardy, they found that men use uptalk more when surrounded by women contestants. The more successful a man is, the less likely he is to use uptalk. Report neutral tonality is best used in 90% of conversation interactions. Staying emotionally stable is an attractive quality. So to be impressive in conversation, fluctuate between report neutral and report breaking tonality, but by all means, avoid that report seeking up talk valley girl tonality <laughs> and for the last thing the final thing that can make you more attractive than 90 percent of conventionally attractive men let's look one more time at mr thomas shelby can you guess what it is yes it is style if you lived in 19th century birmingham england then it would be wise to wear a tweed suit and a newsboy cap today you would probably get some weird looks if you wore that that just goes to show how big of a difference your style can make according to the study conducted by kelton research not only are well-dressed men viewed as sexier smarter and more successful they also fare better in relationships in fact 91 percent of americans think dressing well can make a man appear to be more physically physically attractive than he really is. While nearly two thirds, 64% believed women are more likely to marry a well-dressed man than one who isn't as put together. And that's not just coming from me, that's coming straight from this article, I can't remember the name, but I'll link it down below. This is the Duchess of Windsor, Wallace Simpson. Her husband, Duke of Windsor, abdicated the throne to marry her. She was a fashion icon for many years, but was not renowned for her beauty. A famous quote attributed to her is this. Wallace Simpson said, I knew I could never be the most beautiful woman in the world, but I knew I could be the best dress. Everyone looks better when they dress well. A good dress sense and care for one's appearance puts you in your best light. These things also reflect well on one's judgment, showing that they care, that they understand what is appropriate, and that they have a sense of self-respect. Conversely, a very beautiful person who does not exercise good judgment in how they dress may put other people off. It seems bizarre or that they lack self-respect or good judgment. Now, I'm not a fashion guru or anything like that, but I definitely notice that when I dress well and wear stuff that fits me, I feel like I basically level up in life, kind of like a video game. So if you want to know more about style and perfect what kind of clothes look good on you, learn more about layering, colors that go good together, and all that stuff, I definitely think you should check out my friend One Dapper Street's YouTube channel. He went to school for this and got a degree in fashion, so he definitely knows what he's talking about. And, I'm and I learned most of my you know, pretty basic fashion sense from him, so definitely go check him out. It's really good stuff. So I hope this video kind of showed you, based on statistics and science, that not everything just comes down to your genetics and if you won the lottery in the looks department. There's a lot of things you can do and these are the three main ones. So get your freaking posture right, as a matter of fact. Get your conversation, your speaking skills right and get your style right because it can make a huge difference. Thanks for watching guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe, turn those notifications on and until next time, peace.